to my compatriots why I seek your mandate to be president of Nigeria. Fellow Nigerians, it's with, with tremendous sense of history and an immense awareness of the challenges ahead of us as a country that I address you today. Now, for the past few months, my running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima, and I and other leaders of our great party, the All Progressives Congress, have traversed the length and breadth of our country in the course of our campaigns for the forthcoming presidential, governorship, and legislative elections at all levels. I have been overwhelmed by the enthusiastic crowds that have trooped out to receive us in all the states that we visited. On Tuesday, we had the grand finale of our rally in Lagos State. It is obvious to me from my interaction with our people across the country that despite our challenges, the APC enjoys tremendous goodwill among the vast majority of our people. In all the states that we have visited, there are visible landmarks of the huge impact that the President Muhammad Buhari administration has made in terms of infrastructural development in the form of rural and urban roads and expressways, modern railway tracks, as well as improved airport facilities, amongst others. Millions of our poor and vulnerable people have benefited from the various social intervention programs of the Buari administration. Now, the amount disbursed to these categories of our people are unprecedented in terms of the sheer transfer of resources to the less privileged sections of the population, not only in our country but in Africa. It is remarkable and ironical that those who were in power for 16 years earned far higher revenues from petroleum than we did, and yet we are unable to effectively tackle neither infrastructure nor poverty. They now have the temerity to cast aspersions on the APC administration. Our campaign tours demonstrated clearly to us that you, our people, are not deceived. Of course, we are aware of the hardships suffered by our people and the challenges confronting our country. Now, some of these could have been mitigated by better conceptualization and articulated policies. The truth is that there can be no perfect government in any human community. Now, some of the problems are also of global origin, such as the unanticipated COVID-19 pandemic that disrupted economies worldwide, or the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war that has disrupted global food and fuel supply chains. It is clear to me that there is a lot that the Buhari administration has done that are laudable in the areas of infrastructure, agriculture, and poverty alleviation. We must build upon these achievements. Now, there are also some sectors where we must adopt new approaches and stress new priorities. What is clear is that the office of the President of Nigeria is not one of pleasure. Rather, it will demand the highest standard of hard work discipline, focus, determination, and commitment on the part of the next president. I pledge solemnly that my vice president and I will dedicate ourselves wholeheartedly to working for the greatest good and happiness of the greatest number of Nigerians. Now, Senator Shetima and I have outstanding records of high performance in public office as governors of our states. In Lagos, where I served as a governor for eight remarkable years, I led a team of talented, hardworking, creative, intelligent, and purposeful people that recalibrated governance and set new standards in good governance that continues to propel the state to greater growth and development till date. That Lagos State is the fifth largest economy in Africa didn't happen by chance. It is a product of consistent hard work and creative leadership. We seek to demonstrate on a national scale that energy and capacity that transform our states 
to bring prosperity to all Nigerians. Our administration will work to ensure not just a farewell to poverty, but also usher in an era of prosperity in our country. Now, to achieve this, we will re-engineer our security architecture to enhance the capacity of our armed forces and security agencies to guarantee the safety of the lives and properties of our people. Now, this will enable our farmers to return fully to their farms with a resultant increase in food production and affordability. We will initiate measures to boost the revenue earnings of our farmers and improve the standard of living in our rural areas, home to the vast majority of our people. We will tax our ingenuity to drastically enhance the country's revenue generating capacity so that we can adequately fund and fundamentally improve the quality of social services in education, healthcare, and housing, amongst other things. Now, we are determined to ensure that incessant strikes by unions in our public universities become a thing of the past. We will make facilities and welfare packages in our health sector compare with the best in the world so that many of those health professionals who have migrated to other lands will be attracted back home. Ensuring adequate and uninterrupted electricity will be one of our cardinal priorities. This will help boost the performance of the industrial sector and create jobs on a massive scale for our teaming youths. We shall put in place a robust and viral credit system so that more people can acquire the basics of life, such as housing, cars, and household equipment and pay gradually. That will have the immediate effect of reducing the motivation to resort to corrupt means of wealth accumulation. Now, to fight corruption, we will also provide better welfare and motivation to the judiciary to perform its functions with integrity, while we will also enhance the autonomy of the anti-graft agencies and provide them the necessary incentives to make them less vulnerable to corrupt inducement. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. And we can see um, the presidential candidate of the APC, Ashiwaju Bola Ametinebu, giving us his reasons why he seeks our mandate to become the president of Nigeria. Well, that's all we can take. Um, please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you're joining us for the very first time. Now, to all of our subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our posts as they come your way. Now, until we'll come your way next time with more news happenings, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.